And his opponent in this contest making his way to the ring in the red corner. Representing Jordy Shaw. Let's hear it for Marty okay. McCann. Look, they can never keep me down. Going and if I ever fail to snow, I'll go again. I never quit because I know that every loss may lead to another win. I'm going up. I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again. See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage, you should give me my props. You ain't got a soul, you lacking the spirit. You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it. I don't really hate for you to sit and watch me win again and win again and win again. I know it's probably getting on me and when I'm sitting in, so if I ever win again, it's nobody in the minimum. My dick and have to sell my soul. Oh, yeah. Please don't play no games with me. It was never about the fame to me. It needed the best, so they came to me. Whoa. Who the best in this thing? Tell them, yeah, that's me. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the fights you've all been waiting for. Which is best, YouTube or Jordy Shaw? And there's only one way to find out, and that's to fight. And fight they will. This bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds and has been sponsored by Advanced 365 Security. In the blue corner, representing a Curie Martial Arts, and YouTube, let's hear it for YouTube sensation ASAP, Alberto. And his opponent facing across the ring in the red corner, representing O'Toole's Boxing from Jordy Shaw. Let's hear it for Marty McKenna. Once again, this bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Can everybody please make their way back from the ring? We must clear ringside. If you are not one of the coaches, please clear ringside. Just overwhelming Marty a little bit with volume. Uh, as you said before, can he keep this up? Can he maintain this pace that he's, uh, he's setting from the start? I think Marty maybe got a little surprised at the pace that he came out with. Maybe he was expecting his, his size to, to be a little bit more of an intimidation factor. Absolutely. Uh, ASAP's getting some nice body shots there as Marty was on the ropes. He's come off the ropes and now he's back in the corner. ASAP's letting him come off a little bit. Why is he so, I think, perhaps... Oh, oh. lovely round kick there to the head from Marty McKenna. That may well be a first round KO. That's all he was waiting for, that one big shot with the right leg. It's hard to see from this position whether ASAP is back upon his... I think he's getting back up onto his feet there. It's hard to see, that was a great right round kick to the temple, it seemed, of ASAP. Dropping him to the canvas. That was a brave effort by the YouTuber there. But uh, the power was just too much. He just didn't have the mass to withstand a big power high kick. Absolutely. I, I mean, Marty did the right thing there, just, just riding out the uh, the initial assault there of ASAP. Uh, just allowing him to, you know, burn off some of that nervous energy. Marty McKenna looking for his gap and, uh, and finding it with a high round kick to the head. That well, was nice to see a, a, a good bit of sportsmanship there that Marty went over, checked that he was okay before he raised his hands and started celebrating. I, I like to see that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, as he knocked him down, you could see him want to go back for more, but that's that's a natural, you know, that's a natural emotion that you're going to have as a, as a fighter, even as a, as a you know, a, a rookie or amateur fighter, you know, you, you, you want more, it's in your blood, but once that settles down, 
then you know your first instinct really we is to go over and congratulate and make sure your opponent is, is is okay. If you're not meant to be in the ring, please back off. We've got to make sure all of our fighters are okay. Safety of the fighters is paramount, but it doesn't help when you are in a crowd around the ring. So please back away from the ring. So a tremendous result there for Martin McKenna. You know, you couldn't ask for more. First round KO and uh, a rather flashy, so to speak, KO. Round kick to the head, um, taking the wind out of ASAP sails. And uh, obviously there, Once McKenna again, victorious. The uh, great result for Martin McKenna. YouTube versus Geordie Shaw. We couldn't have asked for a, you know, a more explosive ending there. What were your feelings towards ASAP? We were saying there, he, you know, he, he came out very quick. Um, it didn't look to me really that he couldn't maintain that pace. It just looked to me as if uh, McKenna started to kind of find his rage, find the distance and, and, and able to launch that kick. And I wonder if that's something he perhaps had practiced in, 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 in training, throwing the high round kick, knowing that he was coming against a shorter opponent. Yeah, no. I, th I think he up a little bit of it there. He was better than I expected. Yeah, he hasn't yeah, been training very long. You know, I, I agree. He brought it in combination. He was game, but he just didn't have the hurting power on him. Well, that was the difference. The, the Kenneth's really got a right leg on him. You know, you've seen him throw a low kick, and obviously we've all seen him throw that high kick now. He's really got a decent right leg. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. And it's good to see now that, you know, that both fighters basically, you know, congratulating one another, uh, making up. And, and perhaps Marty McKenna will be looking towards his next fight. Do you think we'll see him return to the ring? He's made noises about it. He's talked about taking the series. Right. Uh, I think he's looking to follow in the footsteps of his friend Aaron Thomas you know, and make a serious go at uh, uh, having a fight career. Now, I don't know how far he wants to take that, but for the time being, he's saying that it's helping him, helping him focus, stay away from that party lifestyle, yeah. you know, be more be more productive. So that's a great thing. That's that's a lesson for everybody. If you if you if you want to turn your life around like that, fighting's one of the ways that you can do it. Absolutely, and obviously uh, his corner there from All Tools Gym, uh, training there with Andy Davison. Uh, Mickey Torell is a referee, but I imagine Mickey would have had uh, some contact there with uh, with with Martin McKenna in training. Uh, and he seems, you know, he, and, and rightly so, very happy with his performance and his uh, victory tonight. So a victory well earned there for Martin McKenna. Uh, perhaps we'll see ASAP come back. I mean, as far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, this was ASAP's first fight, was it? Has he fought before? First ever fight, as far yeah. as I know. I've seen very little on him. I'd like to see him have another go, but I'd like Just to see him fight in a lower weight class. I agree, I agree. There's Let's get no the announcement from the referee. Involved. It's a serious sport and sometimes people do get hurt. So please, once again, put your hands together, both our warriors. We've got your winner, the of knockout, Marty McKenna. And let's hear it for our runner-up ASAP Alberto. Okay, so who do we have next on the card, on the main event card? Coming up, we've got Rick Olavitsky versus Paul Edmondson. And that's matched under, uh, is that the extreme boxing rules? That's the extreme boxing title, yeah. So extreme boxing, Western boxing rules, wearing four ounce MMA gloves. We, we, we said before that with the idea with the MMA gloves is, as I understand it is, well, two reasons actually, and correct me if I'm wrong, is A, it protects the hands, so it allows you to hit the person more without damaging your hands, and it reduces cuts as well, so essentially it would allow, it's, it's a, a, a bare-knuckle boxing match, but allowing the fight to potentially go longer redu and reducing cuts. Precisely, yeah, this is why MMA gloves came into being in the first place in the sport of MMA. MMA was valetudo, it was bare-knuckle, and what happened was fighters were breaking their hands. So the gloves are not there to protect the opponent, the gloves are there to protect the hand of the puncher. That's a misconception that people have thinking that the gloves will somehow protect you. Well, as you said, 
it allows you to hit the person longer, harder for longer. Now, maybe if we're talking about a 14 or 16 ounce sparring glove, you've got something to hide behind there. But you don't spar in MMA gloves. MMA fighters don't spar wearing these gloves. Yeah. You know, they're, they're hurting tools. They're, they're designed to make your hand into a brick, and there's nothing to hide behind. There's really nothing. Uh, just tell the audience, if you don't mind, people, with your experience, what's the difference in the wrapping procedure between a 10-ounce boxing glove and a 4-ounce MMA glove? Uh, that's still the problem with an MMA glove. You can't get as extensive a wrap underneath it. So you can't you can't load the knuckle or build up the knuckle. There's only space for a little oh, bandage. You know, or you can bandage the back of the hand, make the metacarpal strong, stop them from breaking that way. Because that's where breaks happen, not on the front of the knuckle, but across the, across the back of the hand. Well, it's going to be interesting to see uh, with this uh, extreme boxing rule set with the MMA gloves, see how these fighters cope. I believe these are coming in at welterweight, uh, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's 67 kilograms. It's 77 kilograms, where you're not using boxing weight wow, uh, yeah, classes. We're using point. MMA weight well, classes. Now, we this, what's interesting is both these guys are not, not just traditional the boxers. They both fought kickboxing and they both fought mixed martial arts. So they're not going to be strangers to this style of glove. They're going to understand how to adjust, how to use defense that's not going to require them to the just to hide behind the leather. So we may see more volume, more aggression, perhaps a little bit less defense.